Hello friends and welcome to PyShine. This video is about creating a basic image processing application in Python. This is part 5 of the PyQt5 learning series. By the end of this video, you will be able to make your own custom image processing applications using OpenCV and PyQt5. Let's have a look at the basic concept behind efficient GUIs. It is called MVC, or Model, View and Controller. A user interacts with the GUI by providing the inputs to the controller. Controller accepts the user input and converts it to commands for the model or view. The model is independent of the user interface. It is responsible for managing the data of the application. The updated information is then sent to the view. In this way, the circle of information completes. The MVC approach allows code reuse, simultaneous development, and easy debugging, where each part can be tested independently. All right, let's have a look at the intended GUI. It has four inputs and one display. We can open an image, change its brightness or blur, and save it. Let's have a look at this GUI. From the perspective of MVC, a user will input the data in the form of an image or some values from sliders. The controller can accept user inputs from the buttons or sliders. It then converts them to commands for the model. The functions responsible for the conversions are load image, save photo, brightness value, and blur value. These commands are forwarded to the model. The model has a set of functions such as set photo, save photo, change brightness, and change blur. The updated photo is then sent to the label in the view section as an output. So every time, based on the user input, the output changes by following a cycle. Let's make the GUI from scratch. Link to the installation of Python 3. PyQt5 and OpenCV is available in the description below. We have an images directory with three images. Let's open up the PowerShell from this folder and run the designer. Here, we will make a new main window. Let's put two push buttons. Also two vertical sliders. We can select them and give horizontal layout. To display the photo, we also require a label. Let's horizontal layout the buttons as well. We take a horizontal spacer to keep buttons in their position, and then select all of them to provide a grid layout. Also click outside the widgets and then give a grid layout, to keep them extensible, while positioning the GUI. Click on the label and set the pix map, as a photo from the images directory. Let's save and run the GUI using Ctrl plus R. Now, let's rename the buttons. We save this GUI and then convert it to a Python file using this command. Let's run the generated Python file.
In this file to avoid the indentation error, we have to select the functions and press Shift tab and then tab. Now, you can see that the indentation problem is solved. Alright, so in this code we have the sliders and push buttons. Currently, we don't know how to connect them to our functions. So we will open the designer again, and using the signal and slot, attach a connection to each of them. Click on the edit signal slot button, in the top menu bar. Then click on the slider and drag the arrow towards the label. Let's save the GUI and convert it to Python file. Now we have the additional functions to connect the inputs to other functions. Let's import the essentials. Our first function is load image. It will use the Q file dialog to let user select the image path. This path will be stored in the self.file name.
All right, let's check these two functions. As you can see, the functions can't work. The reason is that we have not yet assigned them to the buttons. So let's assign them to the buttons. Now, when we click the open button, the image loads up correctly. Let's add the functions to get the brightness and blur values from the sliders. Let's attach these functions to the sliders. Now as we change the slider, the values are receiving. Let's add the change brightness and change blur functions.
Let's make an update function. To save the updated image, let's make a save photo function. Finally, let's attach this to the save button. As we edit the image and save it, the file gets saved in the updated form. That's all for today. If you like this video, please share and subscribe to PyShine. Have a nice day and see you again.